Welcome to the third module of the six-part training series on the FY5969 Launchpad. In this module, you will learn about using the Launchpad and the accompanying demo code that works with the FY5969. If you've purchased the Launchpad and Booster Pack bundle, your kit should contain all of the items listed on the slide as well as the Sharp 96 Display Booster Pack with Capacitive Touch Sliders. Now let's talk about the Launchpad itself. The top one-third of the FR59 Launchpad contains the EasyFAT emulation portion. The EasyFAT provides the ability to download and debug code via any standard IDE such as CCS or IAR. Jumpers are provided to connect the EasyFET emulator to the target FR5969 device. Alternatively, the FR5969 can also be programmed using a standard TI-USB FET by populating the 14-pin JTAG header. Now let's walk through the various features of the target portion of the board. In the center of the board, you can find the FR5969 device with 64 kilobytes of embedded FRAM. The board also comes pre-populated with two 10-pin headers in the standard launchpad format, allowing this board to be compatible with any booster pack such as the Sharp 96 LCD booster pack. The board also provides the option to mount a 32768Hz crystal for RTC. We can also find switches and LEDs for user interaction. A unique feature of this board is the 0.1 farad super cap. This capacitor can be charged by plugging the board via USB and ensuring that the jumper next to the super cap is set to the charge position. Removing the current jumper allows the user to place a multimeter in series to measure board power. In order to run the Launchpad user experience demo code, the Sharp 96 Display Booster Pack is required. Align the booster pack with the 10-pin headers such that the LCD's ribbon cable is close to the launchpad switches with the rocket symbol facing upwards as shown in this picture. Now connect the launchpad to the PC using the USB cable provided in the box. Once the board is plugged in, it should power up automatically. A splash screen with TI logo is displayed following which the main menu appears. To select options on the main menu, use the left capacitive touch slider. To enter a desired mode, use the right switch S3. The display shows the following menu options, clock, FRAM speed, battery free, active power, and slider ball game. The clock mode allows the user to set the clock timer in the day, month, year time format. The FRAM speed application shows a counter of high-speed writes to FRAM in the order of 8 megabytes per second. It also shows a countdown of FRAM endurance based on continuously logging data to FRAM at the rate of 8 megabytes per second. You can experiment with this mode by charging the super cap and then unplugging the USB cable. Make sure the jumpers connecting the easy fed to the target board are also removed. Now the board is powered solely from the super cap. If the capacitor was previously charged, you can see that the device continues to write to FRAM on the charge from the super cap. This is because FRAM writes have very low peak and average power requirements, making it ideal for energy constrained applications. The battery free mode allows the user to test RTC when using power from the super cap. Similar to the previous mode, make sure the super cap is charged before unplugging the cable. Also ensure that the EasyFET jumpers are removed as before. On a single charge, the board can maintain RTC count for over 20 hours. The active power mode allows the user to select and experiment with various M clock and cache ratio settings to see their impact on active power. The slider ball game uses both left and right capacitive touch sliders and implements an algorithm based on the MSP430 capacitive touch sense library. Please use the links outlined in this slide to obtain information on various topics related to the FR5969 launchpad.
Our next module will walk through an introduction of CCS and MSP430 driver library. Thank you for listening.